Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play series. Today we're going to be starting Tell Me Why. This is a new game from Don't Nod, the developers of Life is Strange, and I've seen LPs of all those games and really liked them, so I thought we'd go ahead and give this one a shot. Basically all I know about the story is it potentially deals with transgender issues because of the uh, little blurb it had when I started the game up, and it's about two twins that return to their uh, family home years later to try and sell the property. So let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, as far as I know, the first chapter of this comes out now, the next chapter comes out September 3rd, and the final chapter comes out September 10th. So, Tell Me Why has a story-based game that takes your choices into account to shape your relationships with other characters. Choose wisely. Okay, so we're working on the Clementine slash whatever will remember that system. Got it. So, cool. Let's go ahead and hop in. Don't nod. So let's see what we got. I'll try to stay quiet during all cutscenes and everything, so if I ever need to get a thought out, I might pause the game. Or if there's no one talking, I could speak, like right now, basically. Since we're kind of just observing someone sitting at a desk. Appears to be a young child. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Oh boy, that's awful. So I'm guessing she's attempting to transition now and tried to reveal her new haircut to her mother and... Or his. Not we haven't gotten the gender yet. I'm already screwing up. <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're transitioning to a boy, and they tried to show their mother their new haircut, and it didn't go very well. Which is, uh, rough. Yeah, since we haven't gotten a confirmed gender yet, I suppose calling them they would probably be the best way to go about this. Alright, so we're making some notes and everything. <clears throat> Guessing these are our two twins. House keys. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, 
I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. All right, and given the context of this game, if I do make any mistakes as in, like related to transgender issues or anything, please tell me about it in the comments because I do see this as a opportunity to learn even more about um, these types of issues and life and everything. I'm interested, that's why I wanted to play the game. So here's our character, Allison. Guessing you're who we're going to be playing as, or we might play as both of them, but we have a lot of things to look at. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally gonna hate it. Oh boy, th this music's totally gonna get this video copyright claimed, isn't it? I've got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Geminids Nightwatch Alaska. Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Not here. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Freezing my ass off does not sound fun. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Ooh, a rocket. Hello. Ooh, a little picture, too. Picture frame there. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. You mean you're like four repeating same DVDs? I suppose it could be different seasons of an entire series. <laughs> but it looked like four repeating DVDs, basically. Derby girl. No. Oh, we got a lot. In my desk drawer, maybe? <sighs> is he gonna like this? Or is it too much? I'm guessing that's a gift for her brother, because we... Yeah, we haven't seen them in a few years, I believe. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, Allison. No reason to be so nervous. Okay, they said... She said it's gonna be crazy to see him after all these years, so is... The brother the one that transitions? So he's the one that transitioned. Michael Got it. and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. I wasn't sure who that was at the beginning, so... I think they just said, hey kiddo, they didn't give me a name then, so... Police Chief Brown asks Council to reconsider budget. Doc strike to begin this week. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Time of night against any two, the shape of yesterday, and summertime sweet. Cool. Alrighty. Um, I don't want to leave. I don't think. Ooh, we have ice skates. I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. God, I hate ice skating. I look like a complete utter fool <laughs> sitting up there trying to ice I skate. Look at this artwork all day. Not the prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. Same. Also looks like me, especially the bump at the back of the head. Yeah, I have that. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Oh, cool telescope. I always wanted one as a kid. I don't really have time to dig through this right now. Why would it be in here? I can fly this. One more season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? Why would it be in here? Oh, no. That, that, that was the place I already checked. I thought that was a different thing to look at. Uh, is it down there? I'm having a hard time finding my keys here. Whoop. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. All right, we'll go ahead and grab those things. Interesting little box. Goblin? <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. And they have like button nipples? Alrighty. The entire first episode is Great. just... I think I'm ready to go now. Well, no, we're only at 11 minutes, so the entire first episode isn't going to be just me finding my keys. I think I examined pretty much everything in here, so I think we can leave now. Out we go. This feels very life, life is uh, strangey so far. Uh, Allie, she's gonna be so awkward. I know you're thinking, a letter, okay, let's read it like this. 
Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like letter territory, whatever. You'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for, a re for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so try please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your minties? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up, and you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, the... Vecchi let me... The Vecchis? Let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for sale and everything. Can't wait to think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. Okay, so our character is named Tyler. This character is the brother. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. Bye, Herbert. And I think you're the character we saw at the beginning. Hey, little guy. You're going to be reunited with your sister soon. Yes, with your button nipples. Oh, oh I took it. Okay. Go ahead and put that in the old pocket. Uh, the crafty goblins. Oh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. That's the first game collectible? Cool. The Transgender Man's Guide to Healthy Masculinity, Songs of Innocence by William Blake. Oh, is V from... That, that's probably something V from uh, Devil May Cry likes. And Shelter from the Flood. Cool. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna <laughs> need it more than I do. <laughs> Angsty soundtracks. For thee, that was Linkin Park, Avenged Sevenfold, uh, Breaking Benjamin. Bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Been listening to this on a loop lately. Not to say any of those bands are bad or anything. I actually like all of those bands still, but that was my angst music of choice. Alright, so... Ooh, we got ourselves a little basketball goal, too. Hello. Uh gonna miss these dum-dums. Yeah, yeah, I can dis. Love you. You escaped. Best mentor. Later, Tyler. We'll miss you. See you soon. Good luck. And I believe the sister said you have fully come out now, which is cool. Celebrate, educate, unite. Juno Coalition for Equality. Transvisibility March. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Fire in the hole. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Take me. This box of junk treasure is now yours by the first law of finders keepers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's uh, that's basically the rule set I go by in every RPG. Testosterone refill. Testosterone prescription. Today is Monday. You know I'm bad at this. Hey, Aaron, you know I'm bad at this, but I just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at-risk at yet redeemable youth haha -ha, could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Coolio. I like your jean jacket. It's a cool jean jacket. Say goodbye. Off we go on adventures. Please give me water and sun, thanks. Why? No, it was a cute teddy bear. Why would you throw it? Damn. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. 
Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? No, nope. this is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Uh, the food? I would say the people, probably. He seems very connected to these people. Honestly? people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Yeah, it is a quite an old looking truck. I'm I'm going to be honest. It does look pretty beat up. Fireweed Fireweed Residential Center. Ah, oh, those mountains look beautiful. Ugh. I want to go to the mountains. I actually think I'm planning to do that soon, no, so... No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear. Fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. Hmm, that's what you're going to school for. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. Yeah, I can imagine Tyler probably doesn't want to go back home, given what happened there, if the intro cutscene was any indication. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Man, I wish I was on this boat right now. This place looks beautiful. Look at it. Look at I'm all the snow. Things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Hmm, small town life or that bad? Can't wait to get out of here. If I were you, I'd keep my expectations low. Was it really that bad? Pretty much, but it could definitely have been worse. 
Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. I think I'm... Smoke coming out of Stonehouse? I think I missed the opportunity to say something there, which sucks. Yeah, we that have a timer. Over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point, got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Uh, sure. Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Just got a uh, package at the door in case you heard the doorbell. <laughs> Whoops. I saw the person walking up. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Allison. Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Uh, I mean, I feel like she would be happy if I say fine. So I think I'm gonna say fine. Fine. I'll take it but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Fair. Uh, what Did is that? that? <laughs> Whoa! No place like home. Yeah. Where are we where there's a whale Would here? Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. 
completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Where are we? Like Alaska? There's just a whale hanging out. That was a whale, right? I'm not crazy. Hey, it's me. Yep, we didn't die in a fiery crash. How are you? It's so weird being back on this boat. Ah. All right. I think this is probably a pretty good spot to go ahead and end the first episode off, as I do want to go ahead and get this up uh, on YouTube on release day. So I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of... Oh, jeez. I'm blanking on the name. It's why something, right? Tell me why. Tell me why. Yeah, that's that's the name. I, I can't believe I forgot it for a little bit. But yeah, it seems pretty interesting so far. And I'm interested to see where the story goes and everything. Because the premise is interesting so far. We're going back to the home where we had a lot of problems growing up. And having to relive those experiences possibly. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Tell Me Why. And I will see you next time.